Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about some of my favorite records from my vinyl collection. If you're new here, definitely make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and definitely turn on those post notifications. That way you'll stay up to date with all these never ending quest vlogs. Today's video I'm super excited to share with you guys. We're gonna dive into some of my favorite records from my vinyl collection. I got some of them here and I'm gonna share them with you today. But before we get into that, we just gotta do a little bit of housekeeping first. If you guys take a look right down there in the description, there's links to all the equipment that I use to film my videos for my camera, my mics, the editing software I use. So if you guys are interested in making your own videos or getting some different equipment, check out those links down there in the description and that'll get you all set up. All right guys, I've been collecting vinyl for years now, just as a music lover, as well as a former beat maker. I used to make hip hop beats and use a lot of records for sampling and stuff like that. I have a, a I would say a small collection. Um, there's definitely people out there that have way bigger collections and better collections than I do. So this is not a, a vinyl measuring contest or anything like that. I just wanted to show some of my favorite records and kind of explain to you why they are my favorite records. I just love records. I love the sound of it. Um, I think it just, there's something about hearing music on vinyl I know that just it's nostalgic, man. It, it really just takes me back to uh, my childhood and, and whatnot and listening to records and, and consuming music that way as opposed to uh, how we just download and stream things now. So without further ado, let's just hop right into the first record. This one is one of my favorites uh, right here. This is Prince, Purple Rain. Hands down, one of my favorite musicians of all time. There's no one greater than Prince, in my opinion. I've watched this movie probably a thousand sometimes. I love it. This record is really cool. Not only can you play this record front to back, it came with this really cool poster. So I'll show you guys that. That's the Prince poster that came with the record. So yeah, pretty cool. When I picked this record up, I think I found it in a record store for, I don't know, maybe it was less than $10, I'm sure. Yeah, one of my favorite records, definitely glad I have that. I keep all my records in a plastic sleeve just to kind of protect them a little bit better. So yeah, Prince Purple Rain, definitely one of my favorite records. I play this record a lot and watch the movie a lot. I'm kind of obsessed with Prince. So yeah, one of my favorites. Uh, I think the, the album cover is obviously pretty iconic. Cool with the, the Paisley print. So yeah, Prince Purple Rain. One of my favorite records. So this record was really instrumental in my childhood, really, I think, kind of catapulted my interest in music, um, watching Michael Jackson, uh, listening to Michael Jackson. So this record is, is definitely a hit front to back. A lot of my favorite records on here, and probably my all-time favorite Michael Jackson record, which is Billie Jean, was on here. And the cool thing about this one is I think everybody remembers, you know, when you open this one up, definitely the classic late 70s, early 80s, Pose, R&B singer, laying on the side. And everybody remembers that cub, that tiger cub. So yeah, Michael Jackson, a lot of my favorite uh, Michael Jackson records, or uh, songs on this record. Definitely gets a lot of play. Now I know there's, there's always the debate, what was the better Michael Jackson record? Was it Thriller or was it Off the Wall? Now, in my opinion, um, I just identify with Thriller a little bit better just because Off the Wall was just uh, slightly before my time. And not before my time, I just mean, I distinctly remember this, this record coming out. I remember songs um, being played off of this record when I was younger, but it was definitely uh, Thriller that captivated me and, and turned me into a Michael Jackson fan for sure. Off the Wall, Thriller, both good records, but if I had to pick one of the two, I'm definitely going with uh, thriller. 
And lastly, um, this record that I'm gonna share is really cool because not only is it a really good record with some really good music from an iconic play, but it came with some really cool items inside of the record when I bought it. And I, again, I bought this from a, a record store, buy, sell, trade kind of store. I was really surprised when I found what was inside of here because I thought it was pretty cool. Definitely uh, worth my money because I think I only paid like three bucks for this and, and that is the Wiz. So what I found inside of here is really cool. What I found is the playbill for the play. And this playbill is from the Broadway Theater, 1974. And inside uh, this playbill here was a note, a mailgram, right? And on this it says that it's uh, apparently from the Majestic Theater. And it says, at this performance, the role of Glinda, usually played by Deborah Burrell, will be played by Felicia Ayers Allen. I don't know if you can see that. Being that this one says Majestic Theater and this one says Broadway Theater, I assume they didn't come from the same place. But I am kind of curious a little bit more info on these items. If anybody knows anything out there, definitely drop that in the comments. Um, this is from The Wiz. Like I said, they were dropped inside uh, the cover here. Some cool pieces of memorabilia from that era and that play. If any of you guys have any more info on either of these items, kind of where they originated, I mean, obviously, I I know uh, the Broadway Theater 1974. I am curious a little bit more about this note though, kind of a timeline or whatnot. So if you have any any cool information or anything to share about these items or about this record itself, uh, definitely drop them in the comments. I'm curious to find out. And those are just a, a few of my favorite records that I do have in my collection. Definitely a collection that's intimate to me and special to me. And I wanted to share that with you guys. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for stepping into my world, checking out a little bit of my vinyl collection. Again, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. Definitely turn on those post notifications. That way you'll stay up to date with all these never-ending quest videos. Till next time, guys, see you then. Peace.